Hi, do you like FPS? Of course you do. It makes you better at the game and it makes the game smoother. Now what if I tell you that you can get free FPS? You wouldn't believe me, right? But hear me out. There's a thing called NIS, NVIDIA Image Sharpening, that promises to boost frame rates for optimized games and applications using GPU scaling and sharpening. So how does it work and can it work in TF2? Well, let's answer that question right after you hear about today's sponsor, my Discord channel. You can get numerous benefits from joining my Discord server. You get to talk to me, hang out with other like-minded gamers, get stream notifications, notifications if you opt in for it. Most importantly, it's absolutely free, so all you have to do is click on that crystal blue link in the description. So what are you waiting for? Click on it right now. There are two ways to enable NIS, through GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA Control Panel. Since I hate GeForce Experience with a passion, I will show you the Control Panel method. First, right click on your desktop background, click on NVIDIA Control Panel, go to Manage 3D Settings and voila, here it is. You can even adjust the sharpness of the image to your liking. Once enabled, the sharpness filter is automatically applied to all games. The way that NIS works is that your PC first renders a low resolution image and then it's stretched to fill up the screen and a sharpening filter will be put onto the image, making it look clearer. The boost in FPS is due to the lower number of pixels rendered. Now this looks way too good to be true, right? You get a sharper image and more FPS. Well that's because the sharpness added is just fake artificial detail. The filter can only make the image sharper by blackening the edges. The image is still low resolution if you play close your attention. It also won't work if the aspect ratio of the resolution you're using is not the same as the native rest of your monitor. Most importantly, anti-aliasing needs to be applied if you want the image to look half decent. Without anti-aliasing, NIS doesn't really eliminate jagged edges. Instead, it quote-unquote enhances them and makes them look more obvious, which leads to the image looking horrible and rough on your eyes. With anti-aliasing enabled, jagged edges are already eliminated and therefore, the sharpness brought about by NIS can work as intended. Ended. But hey, doesn't anti-aliasing decrease performance? If so, then will it make the performance increase from using NIS be non-existent? Well, that is not a problem for modern games. In those games, temporal anti-aliasing is often used. It provides high-quality anti-aliasing without slowing down your PC to a crawl. When TSAA is used with NIS in a low resolution, the game would still look relatively good while the FPS would be boosted. Even in native resolution, NIS is still good for offsetting the blurriness that TSAA causes. It all sounds good right? The image looks stable because of TSAA and it's sharpened by NIS. However, in older games, that's not really the case. Older games such as TF2 also have anti-aliasing, namely MSAA, multi-sample anti-aliasing. It is commonly found in older games and they are of high quality, probably even higher than that of TSAA, but it is at the expense of performance. So here comes the problem. NIS won't look good without anti-aliasing, but the performance boost from NIS will be nullified if anti-aliasing is being used. This is my biggest ripe with NIS. If performance reducing anti-aliasing is used, then the performance boost from NIS would be completely useless. This would not be a problem if TSAA is used, but not every game has it. And really, if you use both NIS and anti-aliasing in a low resolution, the performance really isn't going to be that much better than native resolution without AA. Because NIS and AA reduces performance, right? That's why I don't really like NIS all that much. It's kind of useless. But that's to be expected, because there's really no such thing as free FP. Yes. In spite of that, there's still one use that I can think of for NIS. As mentioned before, anti-aliasing blurs the image slightly and some people may notice it. So if you have some performance overhead and you still want to keep AA on, then NIS would be a good way to sharpen the image so that it's less blurry. In my opinion, NIS is at best a robust sharpening filter and it's nowhere near being a magical thing that gives you free FPS. Thank you for watching.